Hello and welcome to another Fire for Developers tutorial video. My name is Gino Canessa. Uh, today we are doing a tour of some uh, getting up and running some local test development servers. Uh, this particular video is on Happy, a uh, very popular setup. And uh, as with all the other ones, we're going to use Docker uh, just to make our lives quick and easy. So with that, let's jump right in. Uh, before I jump into the console, um, again, there'll be links in the GitHub repo, but here we can see I just have uh, a quick search for Happy Docker. Uh, this first one's from Couchbase Labs, which I'm not interested in. Uh, I'm interested in Happy Fire, JPA's uh, starter project. Uh, once we're looking at their GitHub repo, you can see, uh, once you scroll past all of these, we can find Docker. Uh, and you can see it's really just a, a couple of uh, commands here uh, to run. So this first one is going to pull the image, and the second one is going to run it. Uh, you can actually just uh, run it, I believe, nowadays. That will uh, do everything for you, uh, do pull and everything else. So we're going to go ahead and just run that. Uh, both commands are there in case on your system you run into issues, uh, depending on which version of Docker you have. But you can see everything's starting up quite quickly. On my machine, I already have uh, the images downloaded. Uh, it's doing the uh, Spring Boot application, everything else. And we'll just give it a second to finish coming up. Obviously, uh, the amount of time it takes, uh, your mileage will vary. But we can see in uh, the Docker uh, UI that it is running. It has mapped port 8080, which we would have expected based on the documentation here. So I think it's up far enough. We'll take a look. Uh, we'll just do localhost 8080. And oh, there we go, it was long enough. Perfect. So we can see this is the happy UI that they put on here. And we can see they've linked all the, everything else. Uh, we can see that we're running on localhost 8080 fire. Uh, we can go ahead and take a peek at their conformance, uh, their capability statement. Uh, and you can see here, Happy Fire version 5.4, where it's running, Fire version 4.0.1. So that's all as expected. Uh, and just to make sure, we can go grab Postman, pull Postman over, and do the same thing. So on my machine, the port is forwarded into the Docker uh, instance. And we can see the same thing. We have our capability statement, happy fire, supporting XML, JSON, and Turtle, uh, RDF, for uh, historical reasons. <laughs> so everything's here. Uh, you can store, you can retrieve, you can query. Uh, you can use their UI that they have here as well. Uh, you can see they have everything uh, set up just like the public test server. Uh, they do have additional things here. Uh, if we go back to their GitHub page, you can see they have some configuration that they expose via environment variables. So you can do things like setting the default encoding just in your one-liner that you want to run. Uh, or you can go ahead and use the application YAML file uh, and specify that. Uh, and they have the examples on how to do it here. But then you can control quite a bit of configuration where your database is, uh, everything else. So there you go. Uh, and then this goes through, if you're not using Docker, uh, you can go through and do everything else. But uh, as you can see with Docker, it's very straightforward to get it up and running very quickly. So highly recommend, uh, especially if you're just uh, looking at a server to have locally to play with, um, you can go and grab these uh, from all the different vendors, have them all running, start and stop them quite easily. Uh, and it's uh, a pretty good experience overall. So. Uh, thumbs up uh, for Happy uh, Fire Server, and uh, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know, and uh, otherwise I will see you next time. Cheers!